afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Another autopsy is expected to be done on the remains of flight attendant Christine Dacera. This time, it will be the investigation bureau that will handle the procedure. Reporting to us live is Jem of Ansenia, all the way from General Santos City. Jem, what are we expecting this afternoon? We are expecting personnel from National Bureau of Investigation to arrive anytime this afternoon as they are scheduled to perform their own autopsy on Christine Dacera's remains. Mary Grace Rosario, aunt of Christine Dacera, confirmed to us on Friday night that she will be flying back here to their hometown with NBI officials, including Deputy Director Ferdinand Lavina. We tried to ask for a fresh statement from Sharon Dacera, Christine's mother, but she said they will let their lawyer face the media instead. Dacera's relatives and friends have gathered at the St. Peter Chapels here in General Santos City to sympathize with the grieving family. The management of the memorial services company had to tighten their security to make sure that health protocols will be observed strictly as more people are coming to visit the week. Jansen City Mayor Ronel Rivera also came by here last night and said he hopes that Christine's case will be given closure as soon as possible. Riza Christine's burial is initially scheduled tomorrow morning in a private cemetery here in General Santos City, but there may be changes in their plans considering the re-autopsy that will be done today by the NBI. Riza. NBI officials um, disclosed the reason behind another autopsy and what's their comment on the previous autopsies done? Riza, we haven't talked yet with any NBI officials here in General Santos City, but on their previous statement, the Dacera camp said they found inconsistencies and irregularities on the previous autopsy report. That is why they requested for another re-examination on Christine's remains. Riza? Well, thank, thank you for those updates. Jumbo Vincenya reporting live from General Santos City. Meanwhile, a prosecutor from the Justice Department is downplaying the rape slay angle being pursued by the National Police in the case of the Sera. In an interview with 1PH Sa Totoo Lang, DOJ Prosecutor General Benedicto Malcontento said he found the rape and homicide charges shocking and revolting. Ang uh, reaction namin kasi, uh, because ano mo, we have to remember that ang uh, habla na ginawa ng BNP dyan is a rape with homicide. So yung ganong klaseng case, eh, ano yan, nakakagulat yan. It's uh, shocking. It's revolting. Now, the Makati City Prosecutor's Office has ordered the release of three men earlier arrested, citing the need for further investigation due to insufficient evidence. Thoroughly reviewed yung kaso na yan, which resulted to that uh, released for further investigation. Yan ang tamang proseso na umusad lang muna sa full-blown preliminary investigation para mabigyan ng uh, uh, panahon ang lahat ng partido. Now, in other news, the suspect who started the fire on a passenger bus in Quezon City last Sunday has been identified. The Quezon City Office of the Bureau of Fire Protection says the man was identified by witnesses as Edwin Dejos. Initial investigation states that the 49-year-old suspect and the female bus conductor were former live-in partners. The two who both died in the incident had an argument inside the bus, allegedly due to the conductor's new partner. Now, for more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.